Hey, YouTube fam, thanks for swinging by just the best parts. It's SP and I'm back in the chair. What a week it's been, man. You know, I've been checking out a ton of reactors from last week's episodes. Most people seem to like it quite a bit. Some aren't feeling it and that's okay. Uh, what I did find interesting is the wild range of opinions out there. You know, some folks think that the acting is top notch and others think it sucks or Others think that the story is great or the story is terrible. And I know a lot of this is just manufactured outrage. The hate's been around for this show since it was announced uh, and it hasn't let up since. So what I suggest is just don't let that toxicity ruin or dictate your viewing experience. It's culture war bullshit, so don't let them win by letting them influence you. And I think that some people just want all the answers in the first episode or else they think it's too slow or it sucks. You know, while we live in a time where information is consumed at such a fast pace that we end up wolfing down our dinner without actually tasting it. You know, this story is nuanced. It requires some chewing. And you know, I love the slow build and the noir vibe. It's a smart story if you pay attention. And there will be twists. You know, Star Wars has always been great about pulling the rug out from underneath us. So anyway, I'm super excited for this episode. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, I put a lot of work into all the graphics behind me here so I can give you something cool to look at and think about. Uh, that's the whole point of my channel. You know, I want to show my artistic expression for the things that I love, Star Wars being top among them. But anyway, enough of my rambling. I've talked long enough today. Let's go ahead and dive right into the episode and I'll see you on the flip side for the commentary. Oh, Brendoc, okay, so we're up. yep, already doing a flashback, nice. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, don't be all torturing little animals. How's it go, May? Stop! What the hell, man? Okay. He already knew what was up. Why did he look so freaked out, too? My sweet girls must have sweet treats. Don't you think so, Coral? Oh, there's already some kind of weird-ass tension there, too. Yeah, this story is going to be a lot deeper than people expected, I think. Any sign of the visiting Jedi? None. Think for our <gasps> oh, that's the other mother. Oh, the anti-woke crowd are gonna—their heads are gonna blow off right now. Say something? Whoa! The what the hell, man? Power of two. They're not even paying attention. Let go of me. You let yeah, no, this is not good. Your enemies will not warn you before they attack. She's all sit your ass down. <sighs> Oh, this is interesting. Excellent, May. Oh, sure. Yeah, interesting. I expect more from you. This is 1,000% not what I was expecting, man. Girls, to your room. So are they an offshoot of the Death of Marian Night Sisters? Who knows? Or are they just, you know, like in the High Republic, there are so many different groups of Force users, right? Um, it could be just that they're their own sect. They're doing their own thing. This is what I love. This is brand new Star Wars. They are, are creating brand new lore, brand new ideas, bringing something new that we have never seen to Star Wars before. And I think it is just so important that this happens because if you just keep repeating the same damn thing and, uh, you know, the Empire versus the Rebels, you know, it's just boring and i know that there's a bunch of people that kind of just like to live in that original trilogy vibe and that's all they need and that's fine for them but man for me man i need to have this type of evolution in the story i need to see how you know star wars has progressed over the years oh my god this is incredible This is the stuff Star Wars needs. Absolutely. We were blessed with a miracle. What? This is... This is something else. There's the... the there's the mark. Ascend. The Jedi! They've sliced the platform. This is why she doesn't get the mark. They will be here. Are we gonna get to see how all this shit goes down right now? In this Put episode? Your weapons. This shit is next level. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. I find that hard to believe. 
Jedi's are being all policey and shit. This is riveting. Where is their father? They have no father. They're marking. Uh oh. It wasn't there this morning. They're spying on us. They want to take our children. Would you like to be tested and see if you could become one? Dude, they're going literally into other people's cultures and like stealing kids there. It's kind of fucked up, man. Oh my gosh. Masaya, you cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawans. What is that? This whole idea of a right to do so is kind of uh, a little this fashy. Bring Osha to your this is blow. Oh my God. People's heads are going to explode because they're just painting the Jedi's in such a horrible way right now. Bed. No, I did not bring the girls into this world so we could lose them to a bunch of deranged monks. It is not your decision. I carried them. I created them. And what happens? If the Jedi discover how you created them. What? Oh boy. That smells Anakin y. Jedi are bad. The Jedi are good. This isn't about good. This is bad. very Benny Jesuit, too. Bad. Look at it. Oh, here's Kalnaka. Look at that. That's a kick ass looking speeder, man. That's nice looking. I like his little top knot. And there's Torben. He offed himself. What are you doing? I was just taking a blood sample. Midichlorian count. Tell us what you see. It's the Jedi test. Spaceship. Yep. Huh? <gasps> what the hell, man? Did someone tell you to fail this test? Boy, this question about taking kids. It's pretty rough. I want to be a Jedi. I told him I wanted to be a Jedi because I do. You don't mean that. I do. I want my own life. I'll never see you again. I want to be a Jedi, Mama. Ugh. I do. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I must discuss the situation with everyone here. People are going to hate this episode. It's so good. It's so good. Oh shit. You can't go. We're here we go. Here. I'll kill you. <gasps> what? Take him back. What the hell, man? It's got a little murdery. Oh, come on, man. Go do some messed up shit. <gasps> oh shit. Is this the beginning of the fire? Is this how the fire starts? No, they're doing it right now. Let's go. I don't know quite know how everything caught on fire, but if she did something to make everything catch on fire, what? But now we can see how the Jedi did all kinds of messed up stuff. Mama's dead. The symbolism. Look at this. What have you done? What have you done? Oh my God. That's how he saw that she had died. I am not prepared for this right now. Yeah, what the hell, man? This one tiny fire just like like engulfed the entire thing. There's more to this than meets the eye, though. I am buying it. I am not buying this. They started a fire. It destroyed everything. I don't think that's necessarily true. Why would Torben commit suicide? Why would Indira be all freaked out when May shows up? Yeah, there's some something stinks, man. Something is not right right here. What the hell, dude? Um that was that was a thing. Okay, well, I've got about a billion questions after that episode. Uh, but first, I just wanted to say that I love what they've done with, you know, not only the lore, but the symbolism as well. I absolutely love how duality is explored in this episode. First, we have the two rings of the logo, which match really nicely to the two moons that are in the eclipse. Uh, then, of course, we have, you know, the duality of the sisters, of course, uh, yeah, which represents good versus evil, or perhaps the idea of traditional values versus progressive ideals. Then there's the duality of the two mothers, both with competing methods on how to raise Osha and May. And as a nice aside, Mother Anasea actually has kind of a yin-yang style uh, imagery inside the brand or the tattoo on her forehead, which also strengthens the idea of this duality. 
Then there's the duality of the Witch's Coven when contrasted to that of the Jedi Order. Uh, this very much puts to question how we view organized religion versus paganism or other alternative ways of belief. I think it can also be seen as a political metaphor for conservative versus progressive type of thing. And uh, if you really want to even take it further, you can even make the case for the duality of identity between the LGBTQ community and traditional binary society. You know, I could spend an hour talking just about duality in this episode, but for expediency, I just wanted to mention it as I think it's an amazing exploration into the psyche of human experience, and it should be commended. As far as the story goes, of course, there is a lot that isn't being revealed at this point. Obviously, the fire scene creates many questions that we'll just have to wait for. Uh, I'm sure that this episode is going to be highly triggering for some, but good art has a tendency to do that. And all in all, I think this was the strongest of the episodes thus far from a story, lore, and depth perspective. I can't wait to see what's in store next week. And as I said, I could literally go on for hours with commentary analysis here. I literally have two full pages of notes, uh, but I wanted to touch on just a few of these items today. And later, I do plan on making some videos that are a little bit longer form and uh, focus primarily on commentary and not so much reaction. But for now, I gotta take off. So thank you for visiting Just the Best Parts. I'm SP, and I'll see y'all next week.